Good day, everyone. Today is September 21st, 2022. I'll be leading the reflection, and I'm first going to uh, read the gospel of the day. It's taken from uh, the gospel of Matthew, chapter 9, verses 9 through 13. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today, uh, September 21st, is the feast day of St. Matthew. He's the apostle. He's also an evangelist, someone who spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Um, he's one of the four gospel writers, uh, or at least the gospels written in his name. And in our gospel today, we hear that Matthew's living one kind of life, a life in sin. He's a tax collector. He's likely cheating people. And money was at the center of his life, not God. Money's really what he was living for. But upon hearing Jesus's words and following Jesus's command, his life completely changed. Uh, Jesus said to Matthew, follow me. And it said that Matthew got up and followed him. Uh, there's an interesting thing here. The word for uh, he got got up is a Greek word, anastasis. And it's the um, exact same word used for Jesus's resurrection. So Matthew didn't just kind of get up rising from the ground. Uh, there's an implied resurrection here. Matthew rose from an empty way of life to a fullness of life, um, an empty way of life of sinning and cheating people and loving money to a fullness of life lived with Jesus Christ. I think there's a, a great lesson, very practical lesson for all of us here is that when we listen to Jesus's words, when we follow his commands, we rise to a new kind of life, a life we could have never dreamed of, a life of adventure, a life of peace and union with God. And Jesus is constantly inviting us deeper into this new way of living. Uh, where does this invitation take place? As we see in our gospel today, it takes place in very ordinary moments, in ordinary places. Uh, Jesus spoke to Matthew at his customs post, his place of work. He further spoke to Matthew at his dinner table, in his house. And it's in these very ordinary places that God speaks to our conscience. And it's in those ordinary places that we really live out our faith, that we love and forgive others, that we follow Jesus Christ, not literally, physically walking around necessarily, but uh, in our hearts, in our manner of life, our conduct, we follow the Lord and imitate his life. May you all have a blessed day, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.